There are two things that we need in this world, and that is peace and happiness. Though money cannot buy either, it can buy two tickets to Disneyland with an equally peace-driven friend. And that's a good start. I often say one of my dreams is to spend time overseas with someone I'm close with from New Zealand. Today was that dream. She probably wouldn't admit it, but Aurelie and I are more alike than just our love for ice blocks. And we should recognize those bonds, stay close to those who aren't afraid to be unshielded with their ideas, for they're willing to learn. And they have confidence and understanding knowing that we all stumble, but they don't interpret this as a sign of weakness, but of humanity. False friends only appear in times of accountability with their disappointed faces when in fact our suffering is serving to console their misery. The night I met Aurelie was spent in passionate discussion, often in disagreement, but the world had changed when there was a dialogue and we adhered to that. So today would be no different. I was also thinking, isn't it weird that like we're a species that like have the need to strap themselves on a roller coaster and just like zoom around? Or like skydive or bungee jump. Yeah, either. how strange is that? Yeah, yeah. But I guess it just comes back to like we're conscious. No, but still, I mean, when you think about it, I think that it'd be people of like creatures that aren't conscious because it's like we you think they would go skydiving. Yeah, because we know of death. You oh, know what I mean? Dangers, like yeah. we know the consequences. Well, animals surely know of death. So what? No. I mean, I these elephants, elephants do. Do they actually cry? Well, I mean, elephants cry. I think they know of dying, but I don't really think they. Do you think they think about it? Like. I don't know. That's gonna be me one day, you know, kind of thing. Do you think it's water? I mean, my feet are in there. Probably wasn't the world saving dialogue you were expecting, right? How do dogs sniff bombs? What does a bomb smell like? But. That's all it needs to be. That is literally just about to say that. Like, when do bubbles break? When it's too windy? But what if it's like not windy at all? I think they slowly get bigger. Find the people you can uncover the world's mysteries with instead of looking up and listening to the ones who have already defined it for themselves. It's like it's like bonding on another level. You talk about yeah. like ideas. Exactly, exactly. Like, I'll just say, I'll just be like, boy, jingy or something. And me and you can like laugh for hours. Because it's us, me and you, the ones who aren't blurred by ego or success, who are naive enough to take the next steps for humanity, past those who you think have already figured it out. It's not a goodbye, it's a see you later. Time. Yeah. Uh, now I'm gonna work for some day, I know it. Oh uh, yeah, I can see that. For like, for like a day at least. Can Should we go on? Let, okay, do you? Oh yeah, I'm not Wow. All right, just a quick post credit scene. It's probably pretty important to note that, yeah, I'm in Europe at the moment, sort of mulling around, looking for stories to tell, living off two euros a day, you know. Um, so yeah, look forward to some new content, guys. I'm excited to make it. Um, yeah, I'll see you then.